we're looking at paragraph three. And uh, if you would please just let's note paragraph three. And we're beginning um, a series of readings, a series of paragraphs having to do with um, the different sources of energy and the advantages and disadvantages of these different sources of energy. So there, it's really pretty much let's go through and read and, and get the paragraphs marked and then, um, and then we will be collecting uh, some of this information from these paragraphs from these readings. We'll be collecting them into a chart um, later next week. Uh, so let's just begin. What, so what are the advantages and or disadvantages of each source of energy? Let's look at fossil fuels. Fossil fuels like coal, petroleum, and natural gas originate from the ancient remains of plants and animals that were buried deep underground many years ago. And there's a lot of debate about, you know, how ancient remains of plants and animals became buried. But the fact is they were buried underground many, many years ago, and they have fossilized and they have turned into fossil fuels. So fossil fuels, here's the term again, are rich in the elements carbon and hydrogen and are non-renewable, which means once we have used them all up, they cannot be replaced. These remains contain stored chemical energy, as like, it's burnable, that the plants made through the process of photosynthesis years ago. Animals that ate the plants and each other also stored chemical energy. So if you get your green colored pencil, please. Let's get these uh, descriptions here. So fossil fuels. These are coal, petroleum, and natural gas. And where do they come from? They come from the ancient remains of animals and plants that were buried many, many, many years ago. All right, so let's get these all linked. And also, what are, and then there's fossil fuels. We can just put a check on there. What are non-renewable resources? Non-renewable resources means once we have used them, they cannot be replaced. All right, get your blue colored pencil. And there's just a couple of main ideas here. So um, <clears throat> this is a very important main idea, and it is primarily what makes fossil fuels so desirable in our power plants. They are rich in carbon and hydrogen. And what does this mean? When you have matter that is rich in carbon and hydrogen, it burns really hot, and it burns easily, like gasoline, fuel oil, the things that we use in our furnaces and in our automobiles and for transportation. Okay, so make sure you have this paragraph marked, and uh, we're going to take a look at the advantages and disadvantages, which are in the next section. And let's continue. Again, fossil fuels are used to heat water, air, power cars, power airplanes, cook our food, generate electricity, make plastics, fertilizers. Now, advantages, and I want you to just come down here and note disadvantages. And we're going to just get these highlighted in blue. So two advantages of using fossil fuels are they produce huge amounts of electricity when we burn them. And they're very easy to transport. They're very, very easy to transport. So this is one, and this is two. They can be used by power plants anywhere in the world that are connected to a transportation source. Again, transport. Okay, They're easy to transport. On the other hand, there are some disadvantages. So let's note these disadvantages to using fossil fuels. Burning fossil fuels causes widespread water and air pollution. Causes an increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Mining is dangerous. Okay, land is destroyed through the mining process, especially strip mining and mountaintop mining. The consequences of these negative effects can lead to acid rain. Climate change, depletion of the ozone layer. In addition, these sources of energy take very long periods of time to form. And once they are gone, they're basically gone. So again, it's a disadvantage that they are non 
renewable. That's actually a disadvantage. So there's quite a few disadvantages. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's uh, five, six, these changes in our climate and in weather, and then and also in the atmosphere, and eight different disadvantages to using fossil fuel. And the bottom line is, here in the United States, and actually across the world, and in China especially, United States and China, we are primarily burning fossil fuel to generate our electricity and to generate the majority of the power that we use. Uh, and, and this needs to change in the years ahead. Okay, make sure you have this paragraph marked also, and then we'll take a look. And by the way, this was paragraph, uh, this would be paragraph four. So let's move on to paragraph five.